Part 1. Uncovering NET, Identifying and Diagnosing NET Neuroendocrine tumours, or NET, are a rare type of cancer that arise from cells that can produce and secrete a variety of hormones that regulate bodily functions. As neuroendocrine tumours can occur throughout the body, there are many different specialists involved in diagnosing NET. To help raise awareness about neuroendocrine tumours, or NET, an international panel of multidisciplinary experts involved in the care of NET recently convened to provide their perspective and discuss key unmet needs surrounding this rare type of cancer. Diagnosing neuroendocrine tumours can often be a lengthy process. There's many factors involved, including the origin of the tumour, the stage of the disease and whether the symptoms are silent or present. There's a critical need for a timely and accurate diagnosis to help patients receive care sooner. So I think the very first question to open the discussion really is to find out a little bit about the causes and the symptoms of NET. Actually I wish we would know the causes. Uh, most of the time there is no reason for the appearance of this time of uh, tumours. Very rare these tumours may appear inside the familial syndrome but this is really rare. And the usually patient may complain for many years of gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea or abdominal cramps, uh, from time to time flushing. Um, however, uh, this diagnosis is not uh, um, made on time because there are many other reasons for this uh, kind of symptoms. As we know, the most common location of the primary site of those tumors is the digestive system. But uh, unfortunately, Dr. Glasper can explain, they cause very common symptoms that other diseases, more common diseases, can, uh, can give. What's the time scale? We talk about this delay in diagnosis. What's an average time scale for the delay? I've seen patients in my clinic presenting with a diagnosis for five years, even more, even more after the first onset of symptoms. But nowadays, uh, imaging maybe leads to diagnosis without any symptoms. And this represents probably a favorable prognostic factors. Can I pick you up on that? Because I think this is an important point and to make sure everyone um, understands. Some patients don't have symptoms. With my late sister, uh, she really only had a couple of episodes of um, abdominal pain. Um, the first one was 12 months before the diagnosis. It was only 12 months later again. Incidentally, with a CT scan which was properly performed, did we find not only the pancreatic neuroendocrine tumour but a liver full of metastases and it's heartbreaking she wasn't that symptomatic with the diarrhoea the the wheezing the flushing the classic carcinoid syndrome type symptoms i was going to ask you dr tupanakis i mean you 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 get that patient don't you sometimes? very often so the typical first presentation patient that i see in my specialized clinic is a very annoyed frustrated patient who after five years of going from one doctor to another get a diagnosis of a cancer. One of the things that really works against us is this, this idea that it's a very rare tumor and although it's uncommon we have a lot of data from different countries including Canada that show that the incidence is rising and in fact in the last 15 years in Canada we've seen an increase in the incidence more than two times increase. And I think that that awareness needs to be made to gastroenterologists, to other oncologists, to surgeons, so that they understand the disease so we can catch it earlier. Rare tumors occur in common people. And anyone should be aware, from the general practitioner, to the pathologist, to anyone. This, is, this will change things. Elizabeth, you were nodding there. Do you think nurses are aware of NETS? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Some of them, and I'm lucky to work in a center of excellence, and I'm lucky to be part of a multidisciplinary team. So uh, I'm really fortunate to, to be part of that one. Um, I think it's important that nurses are aware of uh, that there is such thing as a net. If somebody does suspect um, a net, a neuroendocrine tumour, the most important thing, of course, is, is diagnosing it correctly. Um, can I ask you then, Dr. Tupanakis, what are the procedures to do this? Well, net is a tumour. It's not a ghost. So we need the good quality imaging and a very good radiologist to read and interpret this test. 
Unfortunately, we don't have reliable and sensitive markers in the blood or in the urine to make the diagnosis. So the key factor, as soon as we suspect a net, is good quality imaging studies. Okay. Well, I think what we've um, discovered from our discussion is, is manifold, really. It's essential to raise awareness of NETs and patients with NETs um, amongst doctors, nurses, practitioners, the general public, to look out for certain symptoms for clinical, pathological and demogra demographic observations. And in that way, we can introduce um, a timely um, and accurate diagnosis and hopefully provide a much better outcome for the patient. To learn more about NET, please visit thenetalliance.com or in the US, please visit carcinoid.com. <laughs>